taking on the Rio Grande Valley Vipers. Capitanes putting up an air ball up there. But Gianna Hearn on the call with KJ. Kelsey Wright. Kelsey, what's up, girl? Gianna, long time no talk. You ready for another one? Yes, we were here on Sunday, and we're right back at it on a Tuesday night. Capitanes had a dominant win in that first game, KJ. Yeah, and it all started with that 45-point first quarter. They were absolutely bananas hot from the three-point line, looking if they can do that again. And so far, it's looking all vipers. We like to pretend we're courtside, <laughs> talk a little smack, we eat some food. That's what we do. From the corner. Much different game. Mexico City is one of six right now from three. And they were hitting all cylinders last time. Now, RGB, two of five. Much different percentages. Big rebound there. Got to get the pace going if you're Mexico City. Yeah, it's RGB that has five fast break points right now. You can see. Uh... Trying to learn from the veterans. He told me Juan Toscano Anderson lives above him. And that's his closest friend right now who he's trying to learn from. Mexico City finally making something happen. Looking smooth. Kyle Rose put it in for two. Marquise Noel back up top. The guy who does it all. Six assists yesterday. Ridiculous. He gets another one now. They, neither team has really gotten to a flow. Yeah, Jeremy Jones. Okay. There's, a, there's a lot of ball movement here. I like this. They Thank got a you. score. Let's Woo. do it. And KJ, what, what do you think you attribute the change to? It, it Would it be RGV and their schemes, defensive schemes? Okay, Kyle Rose. That was nice. Ooh-wee. And it doesn't seem like in their half-court sets they're really getting anything going. Mm -hmm. Great offensive rebound there. They do have, what, six points, I guess, off second, second chance opportunities. Oh, my goodness. No one can stop your <laughs> guy, Dante, down low. That right man is funny. strong. That's what I wanted to see much more of him last game. I was, hey, hey, and here we go, here we go. And the Do steal. a big fella. Jam it out. Hey. The altitude could be one thing. RGB I mean, could get used, used to it, it at this point. Or right? you could not feel as shaken as you were the first day. Oh! Marquise Noel. Yeah, tough shot there by uh, Cam Whitmore, who played a oh. massive game the last time they played. Mexico City's just, they gotta they gotta get together and get something going. That three oh, they need finally that. falls. <laughs> okay, there. look, the rim was like, let me help you out. We're oh, just gonna buy this one in. <laughs> I'm gonna try See again. Can Cam Whitmore. Oh, ho. Cam said that one doesn't fall, but I'll make this one fall again. He was uh, eight for sixteen from the field in the last game, so a very efficient player. I mean, Cam Whitmore is doing what you need an assignment player to do. He's not a two-way player. He is on mm -hmm. a standard contract and rehabbing. He had a knee injury, so he's been spending time back and forth. But if you're gonna rehab, you're gonna do it right in the G. Yeah, well, they always say you can never emulate playing a basketball game. So you can, oh my God, you can practice all you want, but <laughs> actually getting out there in terms of your conditioning and yeah. decision making. Juan Toscano Anderson up top, taking on Thon Maker. I like this matchup. Okay. Oh. Hey. I guess Thon liked it too. <laughs> okay. At Jermaine what point Samuels once again scores for this team this season so far? So nothing out of the ordinary for, for him. Nice replays. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Do some like trust balls or something. You know, whatever balls. you do at camp to like bond. I, I forgot what. Hey! Oh, my oh, I wanted gosh. it. He wanted it. It hurts. <laughs> like most people care about the athletes. Ooh. What about the camera guy? Look at the elevation, the cock back. Oh my goodness. Ooh. There okay, we go. Trey Burke coming in with the tray. I've been there. I've been there where I was like over five and your coach is like, keep shooting. You're like, yeah, oh, no. no, I'm going to go in for a layup. <laughs> Just like Greg Brown, the third, right in front of Infali. Was that on Thon? Yes, Thon Maker, I'm sorry. Not Infali. 
He got his wrist a little bit. Wrapping up the first half. Ooh. Windmill. Okay, dink. Oh. <laughs> Bringing down the hammer. Thomas Scott, he's from Team Ignite as well. He came with Dink Pate. Look at Dink. Throwing it down. We'll be back. They're coming back. That and was see, like that. That was an early shot, you guys. Exactly. That's what I've noticed. Just they've been taking Ooh. a while. Okay. These are not the same two teams that we just saw play. I wonder if it will be a similar outcome, or will the second half have a little bit more fire like that three-pointer? Trey Burke back in. And another turnover. Marquise Noel sends it out. <laughs> Put the assist to him. He just makes things happen. That's a Cam big bucket by Cam Whitmore. Cam Whitmore is dependable. That, that's what I get from him. Cam Whitmore is a hooper. Like, you need numbers, he'll give to, you numbers. To be okay. Oops. <laughs> I was busy taking pictures with all the fans. Carlos. Ooh. I don't know if you've ever heard Kyle Rose. Four quarters is much different than two. So, I mean, just saying. Would you look at that? Trey Burke. Oh, gets space. Finds himself open, too. No bueno. No bueno. Ooh. Oh! Oh, my. Grand Valley Ooh, Vipers. There was some spice go back there. They're fighting again. Oh. That's their 10th offensive rebound of the game so far. If you're a coach of Mexico City, you look at that at halftime, and that is just, that's unacceptable. Cash money. We're at 30 seconds left in this first half. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh mean, mighty. Just make it hurt. Make it hurt, apparently. I said like four dunks ago that Nafali Dante was showing off and now this is just this is just sprinkles on top of the cupcake. My goodness. Seven of eight from the field. And he's only had ten minutes and fourteen points. My he's only played ten goodness. minutes. What? The stat is that right? <laughs> I feel like he's just dominated the minutes he's been in. For the Vipers, you nailed it. Everyone has fourteen points. The one person who doesn't has ten assists. Uh, I'm looking at points in the paint. They got 38 points in the paint already in this first game. 18 fast break points compared to Mexico City's only four. Uh, <laughs> Wild. They've just, they've come out, like I said, they came out, the Vipers came out like a unit. And Mexico City has come out like five individuals right now. So we're going to see if they can turn it around in this second half and have the kind of quarter that we know that they can have. They scored 45 points in the first quarter. Just two nights ago. Let's see if they can turn this around and get back into this game now because the biggest lead has been 26 and right now 20 points. So far today, 14 points, three Six rebounds, points. two assists. He just, um, two steals as well. I just feel like he, he's just such an all around good player. Take another look at this, Greg Brown, the third. Oh. We, we talked about it. I love the tenacity of Greg Brown III. Did he change his shoes? He's wearing green shoes in the first half. Oh, no. Dink was wearing green shoes okay. in the first half. Come on, Juan. Come on, Davon. What? Davon, our popping player Aww. of the game. Almost had KJ and I throwing up a piece of popcorn. Oh, he's A little chippy. We look here, Marquise Noel going up against two defenders and not just small defenders i'm just not used to this cage i mean i've covered mexico city for several seasons now mm -hmm. and they've always fought back they literally almost had close decision games every single time i've covered them so mm -hmm. to see the lopsidedness on either side has been i will be there i will be there you will see a lot of content from jeffrey key and myself if you follow the g league we are always there I think Teddy Allen was pointing right at Dink Pate. Dink wants back on the court. I mean, okay. Favorite player, Marquise Noel. They're booing my favorite player. That's because he's been a dog. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'd be booing him too. <laughs> okay, Dink. Ripping through. Beautiful. You don't have to prove Let's it the any replay. other way other than scoring. Beautiful. Through two defenders yep. up off the back. But yeah. do what you got to do to get back in the game. <laughs> Okay, Dink. D 
instinct. Let's go. I really like his response. Sport vision like that sort of behind you. Mm -hmm. I wish that would have gone up for them. Me too. Oh. Ah. Oh my yes. gosh. Oh, I can drop it. Okay. Thong Thong maker, maker making his power. presence known down low. Felipe Hasi with the rebound and I think Paige trying to push the pace. As he should. Like, okay. Doesn't fall rebound by your favorite guy, Folly Dante. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty. Just. We take another look at Cam Whitmore here and the pass. Yeah, he's yep. a big part of this team's offense, yeah. a leader of this team, for sure. Oh! Oh! oh. Cam Whitmore he, coming back from knee injury. Um, he got got a little hops there. <laughs> I didn't have that after my surgery. Well, I don't know. I'm not saying he had surgery. I'm just saying like, whoa. Cam Whitmore's got 19 points, seven from 11 from the field. His stat line is outrageous tonight. 15, 15 points, points, 11, 11 assists, what? five for 11 from the field, 50% from three, three steals to go along with that. Oh. Here we go, Dink Pate. The transition has not been there so far this game, but Dink Pate has made such a comeback. Pate up top again, sets his feet, releases. Just off the mark, loud and love. Can't get that rebound. Oh, crazy pass there. The Thon Maker, he connects down low and it's gonna be a timeout. Welcome back, welcome back into fourth quarter action. KJ Wright, Gianna Hearn here. Oh, right at the buzzer. Not getting injured. Quite That's honestly, I, I just don't think they have the sense of urgency. I don't think hey, they pop have Hey, popping player, the... popping player, popping right. player. All right, all right, all right, let's do this. Oh, you, you don't have the energy for me right no, now. No, let's do it, let's do it. All I right. have a piece of popcorn, scouts on her, ready? Throwing it up. Oh, okay. mine Dang. hit my tongue and then came out. So we both missed. If you guys don't know, pop and player, we throw up popcorn, try to make it our mouths when the pop and player hits three. Oh, ooh, Do -do -do. Gee, I was talking in the beginning of the quarter about how much Ding Pate has stepped up late in this game. Yeah, and we've been waiting for one of his breakout games, breakout mm -hmm. performances. Like I said, this Viper team has no quit in them. They're gonna. They're going down with this one at full speed. You know how sometimes you're up by so much you can kind of mm -hmm. let your foot off the gas? Mm -hmm. This Ooh. would be a crazy comeback, though. This would be fun to watch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Any other uh, league. But for now, he'll just go to the line. Yo, RGB has 20 more. Oh, the big man down low. I thought he wanted that. At the buzzer. So after this, Mexico City doesn't have a oh. game. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, he's got a fan in me. Felipe Hase tried to lead Dick Pate and fast break the other way. Just add some more to their fast break points. 32. Oof. This gotta be the high the highest scoring game for them this season. It has to be. Ah, let me check. Oh, tough pass there. Added another steal. That's 19 steals for this Vipers team. And it leads to a three-pointer. 18 turnovers, or no, excuse me, 23 turnovers, and they've converted 26 points off turnovers. This Vipers team has. And 26 so points. A beautiful play. If that would have gone in for mm -hmm. Dink Pate. And this is the highest scoring game so far for the Vipers. Wow, 143. Just, you know, like 30 ish points off. Dink Pate, do something for us. You may as well. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Mm hmm. Put three more points on the board. We don't KG. give up here. Oh my goodness. Like, was it all threes? Like, had to be, right? 
And regulation is over in Mexico City with a final of the Rio Grande Valley Vipers on top 143 to 99.